my name. In English, my name means hope. In Spanish, it means too many letters. It means sadness. It means waiting. It is like the number nine, a muddy color. It is the Mexican records my father plays on Sunday mornings when he is shaving. Songs like sobbing. It was my great-grandmother's name, and now it is mine. She was a horsewoman, too, born like me in the Chinese year of the horse, which is supposed to be bad luck if you're born female. But I think this is a Chinese lie, because the Chinese, like the Mexicans, don't like their women strong. My great-grandmother. I would have liked to have known her. A wild horse of a woman, so wild she wouldn't marry, until my great-grandfather threw a sack over her head and carried her off. Just like that, as if she were a fancy chandelier. That's the way he did it. And the story goes, she never forgave him. She looked out the window her whole life, the way so many women sit their sadness on an elbow. I wonder if she made the best with what she got, or was she sorry because she couldn't be all the things she wanted to be? Esperanza. I have inherited her name, but I don't want to inherit her place by the window. At school... They say my name funny as if the syllables were made out of tin and hurt the roof of your mouth. But in Spanish, my name is made out of a softer something, like silver. Not quite as thick as sister's name, Magdalena, which is uglier than mine. Magdalena, who at least can come home and become nanny. But I am always Esperanza. I would like to baptize myself under a new name. A name more like the real me, the one nobody sees. Esperanza as Lisandra or Maritza or CZ the X. Yes, something like CZ the X will do.